Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Hearthstone Mercenaries achievement guide video, I'm going to take a look at the Shut Up Dead achievement. Defeat Shade of Aran without the enemy changing your role. And sadly, this achievement is currently bugged. It also requires that none of the Shade of Aran opponents are going to change their role. And they really, really try to change their role. The red one is always going to change its role on turn one. The green one can also change its role on turn one. So, yeah, you're going to have to farm some assassinate treasures in order to get this one done. And while there is some chance to complete it with a single assassinate treasure, as long as it happens to hit the red ad, there's a better chance to complete it with two assassinate treasures, but they need to hit the red ad and the green ad, so only Shade of Aran would be left. And of course, the best way is if you can get three assassinate treasures and just kill everything right at the start, and that just completes the achievement. And this is the best comp that I have found for farming the achievement. I'm using Yashurash with Mark of Yashurash, Murky with March of Murlocs, Casagus with Wildwine, Valira with Unnatural Smoke, although the equipment doesn't really matter, Maestra with Mask of the Mummy, I really don't want the other Master equipment here, and Scabs with Bearing Knife. So with this comp you can climb with Yashurash, Murky, Casagus, and that's really important because that makes the climb so easy. Out of these mercenaries, Yashuras cannot get the Assassinate treasure, but everyone else can. Also, Valira and Kasagus can get Assassinate 1 from regular fights, and that can be upgraded into Assassinate 2, but that happens super, super rarely, so it's not really reliable. Mostly, you need to farm those elite fights. Alternatively, you could also climb with the Murloc team, Sir Finley, Murky, Old Murkai, all of them can get the Assassinate treasure. Then you could ditch Yashuras and one of the others, but that in general is not a very strong strategy because it takes more time and Murlocs have a lot of treasures. So with Murlocs it's actually quite unlikely to even hit that assassinate when Murlocs get a proper treasure. So what you really want to do is take the Yashuras comp and take it into Heroic Shade of Aran. Because in normal Shade of Aran there are not enough elite fights to get those assassinate treasures. You want to roll maps that have the minimum of three elite fights on your path and preferably you would like to have four. So for example, this was a good map. There's a red elite fight, then there was a green elite fight, a green elite fight, and a red elite fight. So four elite fights, that's excellent. And all the way to Shade of Aran. Also, if it starts to look like you're not getting at least two assassinates by the time you reach Shade of Aran, you should just retire and start over. But when you manage to hit your assassinates just right, then it looks like this. Shade of Aran, let's go. Achieved. Shut up, Dad. I've actually spent six hours working on this solution overall. I have gotten this fight many times with double assassinate as well, but like double assassinate hitting the side ones and leaving the red one alive, for example, means instant loss or instant not getting the achievement. So it can take quite some time to complete this, but this can be completed even in its bugged state. And now I am the proud owner of those 20 achievement points, and you can be too. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.